This episode of Ike Sermons is brought to you by the following. Buy it, weed. Would you like to pay real money to pretend to feel better? Maybe you're just looking for the latest cure-all that will cure everything better than the last thing cured everything. Is that fat wallet pulling on your sciatic nerve? Buy it, weed. Just maybe for you. If you have any or all of the ailments on this list, diet weed may help. In fact, they can do anything except get you high. FDA disclaimer. The previous statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration to be true. Diet weed is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. Diet weed. Until the next cure-all comes along. Babies. They're so cute. I mean, who doesn't love babies? I guess it depends. Are they in a pie? Is it well done? When babies come up in uh, conversation, I normally steer the conversation in another direction because This is something I don't expose to everybody until now. I've decided to expose it now because lately I've been getting caught not liking babies. Ike, how do you not like babies? They're so cute, innocent, and sweet. And look at them. Okay, first off, they're not fucking cute. Most babies are ugly. Ugly baby. And I believe that everybody knows this. They're just scared to bully something so little. Stop being scared to bully babies. They don't even know what you're saying. And if they did, what are they going to do? Kick your ass? Um, I have seen a few babies in my lifetime that are cute, and if they are cute, I will say so. I will definitely let you know. So if you're showing me your baby for the first time, and I don't say much, you keep bringing up how cute your new baby is, and I just smile. I'm not agreeing. I'm thinking you're just saying that because it came from you. That thing ain't cute. It's like a lump of raw dough. Looks like a wet turd that somebody took all the color out of. My mom had me gassed for the longest time. Oh, you were such a cute baby. You were so adorable. So I grew up thinking, I don't know what happened, but at least I was a cute baby. And then one day, I saw one of my baby pictures. And I was all like, Ma, that's cute. You should have stepped on that, sent it back to God. You should have scrambled its brains in utero. And queefed it out and then flushed the toilet and told no one. But no, you took a picture of it. Ma, you know, if you'd have posted that picture on Facebook, you'd have been banned for 30 days. And innocent, innocent, I don't hear that shit. Especially not if you're a Christian. I mean, Your Bible says that babies come into this world ready for the pits of hell. Little fuckers take your money. They take your sleep. They take your last good nerve and 
play tug of war with it. And as they get older, they demonstrate to you how shitty a kid you were. I mean, it's, it's your body. You can do what you want with it, including pushing out 11, 12 more people that are going to shit in our water supply and beg for Christmas presents, food. Daddy, put down the joint and come play with me. Okay, you little monster. Here's a game for you. It's called Lick the Light Socket. Self-explanatory. What? Hey, I voted for the egg beaters. Didn't you also say they were sweet? Well, they can be. But tell me how sweet they are at 1.30 in the morning. And 2 o'clock in the morning. And 2.20 in the morning. And 3.05 in the morning. If that's sweet, I'm dead from diabetes. And what was the other thing I said? That people, oh, yeah. And they need us. Yeah, they do. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming the babies. They can't help what they are. I mean, you probably hate cockroaches. But it's not their fault. They can't help what they are either. You chose to bring this little turd factory into the world. It was your choice to bring this little titty-sucking, eardrum-breaking, diaper-bill-making, resource-sucking, that's the end of your fucking goblin, into the world. Just let me warn you that before you hand your baby to me, before you put your baby in my arms, I'm not a vegetarian. If you've listened to any of my videos or know me personally, you've probably heard me talk negatively about God and religion and all that. And you may wonder why. That's because I think it does more harm than good. I honestly think that shit is imaginary and that is because I am what you would call an atheist which simply means I don't believe there's a God or any gods now I don't confuse that with knowing that there are no gods or a God I don't know that there's no God. I also don't believe there is one. You know, you show me enough proof, I won't have a choice but to believe. Now I'm aware that there are quite a few atheists who take the hard atheist stance which means that they make the claim that there definitely is no God and I have to say they're uh, minus the definite part I think they're probably right most likely correct but now like their theist that is people who believe there's a god granted all people who believe there's a god don't know there's a god there's many that claim that they do know and maybe they do know, highly doubt it. There absolutely is no God. Positive claim. You're stating that this thing most definitely does not exist. Now, I'll agree that as of yet, there's nothing close to enough evidence to uh, 
make the assertion that there is most definitely a God when you take the soft atheist position um, which is what I do basically all I'm saying is you haven't shown me enough to convince me now nobody's shown me from the hard atheist side enough to absolutely convince me that no God exists they're making the claim they have to prove that their claim is true you know they're reporting a crime it's up to them to convince the officer or the judge or the jury but hard atheism whether they know it or not they also hold the soft atheist position by claiming that there absolutely is no God to say that you know there is no God you must believe it as well so since the hard atheist and soft atheist positions have one thing in common which is the position of soft atheism that means soft atheism is the common denominator between the two which would mean that would that's the barest breakdown at the minimum all you have to do to be an atheist is not believe in any gods doesn't mean you believe there definitely are none you might believe that but you don't have to do that all you have to do is just not believe it because you haven't been shown you know now all atheists are not as vocal as I am some are way more um, some of them are real fucking assholes I literally get in more arguments with other atheists because the only thing required to be an atheist is that you don't believe in any God you could be an atheist and be racist or be homophobic or you know fucked up in all kinds of ways and that's why when I run into another atheist like say I meet them for the first time and I discover that that is indeed what they are it's not like oh brother because I don't know anything else about them it's kind of like oh that's cool so at least a uh, distant cousin might be a brother probably somewhere in between there most likely but yes, I don't believe there's a God. Ike, what if you're wrong? Oh my dear sweet Jesus, what if you're wrong? Well, then I'm wrong. When I die, I'm going to try to make sure that I'm near to you. Maybe I'll be able to take you out with me. And uh, as we both pass into the nether realm and discover that there actually is an afterlife, um, I guess we'll both be going to Ajahin when we discover that there is a God and it is the God of the Quran. Now what? When uh, believers are feeling down, they'll tell each other, Let go and let God. You know God is still in control roughly translated stop trying now I say stop trying because you're letting somebody else do your work in this case God so you're gonna be lazy and let him do it I mean you might as well you give him the credit for everything you actually do anyway now this may rub some atheists the wrong way but I do give partial credit to those who try everything that they can think of to try before they let go and let God aka stop trying 
there are people that don't try at all. They jump immediately to let go and let God. I do give the partial credit to those who try before they give up. At least there's a chance they'll actually get something done. And those who jump straight to let go and let God, may I remind you um, how incorrect that is with uh, the passage from your own book. then the so-called crafty ones more than likely will bring up this passage. Like either one of these passages trumps the other. You see the problem with the Bible? I just want to say that before you decide to leave it all in God's hands, let me just remind you. He has holes in both of them. So to my theist friends, um, I don't really mean to offend. If I do, sorry. Forgive me. I Kill Face Entertainment sends a warm, happy baby puppy face hug to all subscribers, especially my latest subscribers, Solomon Essex. Thanks for the interest, bro. Tony with two Y's. Tip one for me. And one anonymous. You know who you are. To receive a personalized shout out, simply subscribe. Do I really work like the guy with a plan? I confess it. Crimes and sins are beyond counting. It's fun. Look at the fun we're having. It was good. It was great. I hate you. You suck. Why not simply share? <laughs> you drunk. Don't take it personally. I don't entirely trust myself. Oh. Are we friends now? Stop that. Making you uncomfortable. Evil notions in my head. I think you're bad, huh? Where, where, where? Did you hear that? Suck it, <clears throat> partner.